Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to revise science book for grade 8. Uh, let us start with electricity unit. Electricity unit divided into three. The first one is static electricity, B, natural electricity, and then C, current electricity. A, static electricity. Static electricity contains information about electron theory, uh, protons, electrons, neutrons, and so on. The second part of static electricity is charged in different objects and how the charge <coughs> takes place in different objects according to the nature of the materials. Then method of charging, charging by rubbing, charging by induction or charging by conduction. The last part of static electricity is the gold leaf electroscope which is scientific device, has its own uses, and how does this device work? This is about static electricity. B, natural electricity divided into lightning, thunder, and thunderbolt. Lightning, <coughs> how does the lightning happen? It explains how does the lightning happen, and how does <coughs> the thunder happen, and everything about thunderbolt and discharging between earth and clouds. It's very dangerous and how can we avoid discharging and the device that used to avoid the discharging between earth and clouds or what we call thunderbolt. This is spots about the three parts of electricity units. <coughs> and then C, current electricity. Current electricity contain the first part which is sources of electric current. Sources of electric current, the sources that generate electricity. And sources divided into chemical, the first one which is chemical sources and mechanical sources. What's the difference between chemical sources and mechanical sources? Chemical sources generate electricity according to chemical reaction while mechanical sources generate electricity according to Faraday's law. Chemical sources divided into primary sources and secondary sources. Our primary two examples and their parts. Number two, secondary sources, one example and its parts. And then mechanical sources. How does mechanical source work? And Faraday's law and examples of these sources. This is about the first part. Then the second part is electric circuits. For electric circuits. What are the components of these circuits, a type of connection, uh, what are the disadvantages of these circuits, and how can we use it at home, which <coughs> type of these circuits is better for home connection. Uh, number three of current electricity is factors that affect electrical current. The first one is potential difference. Potential difference is the force that pushes the electrons between two points to current strength, or what we call current intensity, the amount of electrons. And the last factor, what we call resistance, is the force that works against the movement of electron. You will find problems about potential difference, current strength, and resistance. You have to concentrate when you solve the problems about writing the mathematical formula to complete calculation. Number three, final answer, and the last step, what we called unit. Is it ampere, ohm, or whatever unit? And then, effect of the electric current. Electric current has two effects. The first one, magnetic effect, and the devices that work according to this effect. Uh, number two, thermal effect, or heat effect, and examples of devices work according to the thermal effect. Then, means of communication, what we meant by uh, means of communication, uh, parts of means of communication, uh, three parts of this uh, means, and types, we have two types, wired communication means and wireless. Wired communication, they work according to wires, or sorry, using wires, and wireless using electromagnetic waves. The last part of current electricity, communication through satellite, what 
is satellite and how does the satellite work? How can we launch the satellite? What are the three speeds of launching satellite? This is about current electricity. Uh, the new units we'll talk about is sound. Sound divided into different points. The first one is transmission of sounds in different mediums and to reflection of sound or what we call echo. What is echo? The definition of echo uses different uses of echo, uh, conditions to hear the echo and problems of <coughs> echo. Uh, number three, sound properties. What are the sound properties? And sound properties sometimes uh, with different names. Three, musical or four, sorry, musical instrument. Musical instrument divided into three groups and every group has its own examples and the vibrating part that produce the sound in this group. Also, there are two types of instruments the modern instruments and traditional one. Uh, then the human ear parts, the three parts, and every part divided into different parts. Uh, the last part, noise pollution. Noise pollution divided into two types of noise pollution, artificial and natural pollution. How does the, natural, uh, the noise pollution affect the human health? This is overview about sound unit. Uh, number three, light. Light unit contain different points also. The first one is luminous and non-luminous object. What the difference between luminous and non-luminous object? Uh, luminous object also divided into natural luminous and unnatural luminous and so on. Number two, light ray and light beams. What's meant by light ray and what's light beam? Number three, light properties you will find long explanation about light properties. The first one is light reflection. What's light reflection? And two types of light reflection, regular and irregular reflection, diagram of regular and irregular reflection, application of regular reflection, or sorry, of reflection. Uh, number two of light properties, what we call light refraction. Light refraction, what's light refraction, how does the light refraction occurs, and diagram of light refraction, application of light refraction. Last part of light, or before the last part, uh, there are two types of image related to light reflection and light refraction. The first type is the image formed by reflection. The image formed by refraction has different properties from the image formed by refraction. Uh, the last part, what we call the human eye, the human eye divided into three main parts, and every part composed of different parts. Uh, the most important one, which is retina, and the inner part, and how does the image form on the human eye. This is about light. Then. There is water unit, water divided into the first one, properties of water. Properties of water are two, physical properties, four points of physical properties and chemical properties of water. Uh, number two, what we call solution, solutions part. What are solution parts? Natural solution, artificial solution, uh, dilute and saturated, uh, saturated solution, factors that affect the saturated solution or what we call saturation point. Number three, number three, purification of water. Purification of water composed of different points started from bumping the water into tanks and to the last point when we bump the clean or pure water into pipes. Uh, the last part of water, what we call water sources on earth divided into three parts and every part divided into different parts. This is about water. Uh, then we have sugar unit. Sugar explain the first one, importance of sugar. There are different importance of sugar for human. Sugar consumption, sugar uh, family, 
and sugar consists of different compounds and so on. Then types of sugar, types of sugar divided into two, as you know, complicated and simple. Everyone has its own examples and where do we find these types? Uh, then sugar industry in Sudan began in 1950, different factories of sugar in Sudan. Sugar extraction stages, how can we extract sugar from the beginning till we have pure sugar? Last one, one type of sugar, what we call the gagari or rural sugar. Uh, then there is carbon unit divided into different parts. The first one is carbon forms. Carbon forms divided into crystalline and amorphous. Crystalline form divided into different types such as diamond and graphite. Diamond has its own properties and uh, densities, uh, shape and amorphous also. Its own properties, densities, uses and so on. The second one, what we call properties of carbon. Properties of carbon are two chemical and physical. Physical properties of carbon are different according to the form. While chemical properties of carbon are three, the first one when carbon reacts with gases, different gases to produce materials that help us in the daily life. Two, reaction with non-metals such as sulfur and three, reaction with metal forming metal carbide. Uh, number three, organic compounds. What are organic compounds? Where do we use organic compounds? Different examples of these compounds. And the last one is hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons, combination between uh, different elements and the three types of hydrocarbons and when hydrocarbons divided into saturated and non-saturated and so on. Uh, the last unit of science book about microorganisms, the useful one, and the harmful one when microorganisms cause diseases. We have different diseases such as malaria, frandile, jute blindness, TB, and the last one, what we call polio. Everyone has its intermediate host uh, symptoms. Uh, how can we diagnose? How can we prevent this disease? Uh, this is a short overview or uh, this is about the science book, eight units of the science book and what every unit contain. Then we have questions or what we called uh, must repeated questions in science exam and how can we solve these questions. The first question is about sound unit. Uh, look at question one, fill in the blanks. Number one, sound is produced when objects vibrate. Yes, the answer is vibrate. Without vibration, there is no sound. When object vibrate, we can see, we can sort of hear the sound of the object. Number two, sound waves are transmitted Bit better through solids. Yes, solid is a best sound conductor. If we want to put them in order from best to least, then there will be solid, liquid, and gas. Uh, number three, 340 meter per second is the speed of sound in air at normal temperature. Why? Because sometimes you will find different questions ask you about the speed of sound at zero degrees Celsius, not normal temperature. So you have to concentrate on the speed of sound at normal temperature, uh, in air at normal temperature or zero degrees Celsius. Uh, this is about three. Number four, sound waves cannot travel through vacuum. Why? Because sound waves needs medium to transmit through. So when there is a vacuum, there is no sound. That's why we cannot hear the sound in the space because there is no medium. So we need special medium such as solid, uh, liquid or gas to hear the sound. Uh, number five, echo is the reflection of 
sound. The question is about echo because the, reflect, because the reflection of sound, when sound bouncing off from a solid object, this is what we call echo. And number six, the vibration body which goes sound in. Fluid is air column. Yes, why? Because fluid is one of the woodwind instruments. And woodwind instrument produce sound using air column. Air column is a part of woodwind instrument. When we change the length of this column, you will hear the sound. While the vibrating body in the loot is a string. Yes, why? Because loot is one of the string instrument and the instrument that belongs to the string instrument produce sound using string, the vibration of the string. Uh, look at number seven. Bongos, noba, and nihaz are percussion instruments. Bongos, one of the traditional instruments. Noba and nihaz, one of the traditional instruments. Uh, also, you can find the luka, which is one of the traditional instrument. So you have to memorize the traditional instrument beside the modern instrument. We know drum one of the uh, one of the modern instrument, but you have to memorize the traditional one or Sudanese instrument. Uh, number eight. Also, you will find different parts of traditional instruments. Uh, umkiki, rababa and mandolin are stringed instruments. Yes, Mkiki is one of the uh, Sudanese instruments, and Rababa also one of the Sudanese instruments. These instruments produce sound because of the vibration of the string of the instrument. Uh, this is about number eight. Uh, look at seven. Seven, the middle ear, is the part that is found behind the eardrum directly. We divided the ear parts into three. The first one outer, the second one is middle, and the last one is inner. The middle ear is the part found behind the eardrum. Why? Because the, the outer ear composed of three parts, pinna, auditory canal, and eardrum. Then the middle ear part start. Number eight, auditory nerve transmitting signal to the brain. Auditory nerve, one of the inner ear parts and the signals of the sound transmitted by the auditory nerve to the brain to be translated into different sound. This is a person sound, this is cat sound or so on. Uh, this is about number eight. Uh, question two, uh, if the time between the horn sounding and the people on the ship hearing the echo from the ship is four seconds, how far away is the ship from the cliff? Uh, you will find three types of problems in sound unit. The first one, they, when they ask you to find the distance, to find the distance or how far, how far away. Two, if they ask you to find time or to find the speed or velocity. So number one, distance, number two, time, number three, the speed or velocity. Here you have speed, which is the speed of the air is 330 and the time is four seconds. Distance, mathematical formula, distance equals speed by time. And distance equals 300 uh, 330 by 4 which is the time and this equal 1320 meter then we are going to divide the last answer over to 100 uh, 1320 over 2 why because the problem contain echo echo contain two distance the original distance and the second distance when the sound <coughs> go to uh, bouncing off the solid barrier and return again to be here. 
So when you find the word echo or something point to uh, finding echo in the problem, so you have to divide the final answer. So distance, the final answer, distance equals 660 meters. Uh, this is common questions about town. Pick out the odd word and write the reason. Uh, number one, mandolin, rababa, guitar, and nahas. What is the odd word? You have to think firstly, when you start solving this type of question, you have to think. Uh, mandolin is one of the string instrument. Rababa, one of the string instrument. Guitar, one of the string instrument. But nahas is percussion instrument. So the odd word is nahas. You have to take your time and think in the word one by one. So nahas is the odd word because it's one of the percussion instrument while others are string instrument. Uh, number two, look at number two. Huge waves, thunder, <coughs> volcanic eruption, or volcano and train. Uh, huge waves is one of the natural noise, type of natural noise. Thunder, one of the natural noise. Volcanic eruption, one of the natural noise. What about train? Train is artificial one. So the odd word is train because it's unnatural or artificial source of noise pollution, while others are natural sources of noise pollution. So be careful when you solve this type of question. You have to think one by one and then write your answer according to your thinking. Uh, then you need to light common questions or most repeated question in light. Uh, question one, fill in the blanks. One light travels in straight line, light travel in straight line. That's why when we block the light, the result will be shadow. So <coughs> light travels in straight line. This is one of the facts in science. Uh, two, light ray is a collection of light beam. Actually, there is a mistake here. Sorry. Light ray is a collection of light beam. And you have to memorize the definition of light ray and light beam to differentiate between them. Uh, number three, the light waves which affect the eye are called visible spectrum. Visible spectrum, there are two types of light waves. The first one is visible spectrum. Light rays that affect the eye, we can see the white light. When we start analyze the white light, the result will be seven colors. The second part of this light waves, what we call infrared waves. Infrared waves do not affect the eye, but this type of waves cause heat sensation. You can feel the heat of this wave. This is about light waves types. So here the light waves which affect the eye called visible spectrum. Uh, number four, regular reflection occurs if, li if light falls on smooth surface. I told you before uh, regular uh, reflection types are two, regular and irregular. With the difference between regular and irregular, Regular reflection from smooth object in one direction, while irregular one from rough surface in different directions. Here, when you find the type of surface which is smooth, so this type of reflection, what we call regular reflection. You will find also regular reflection diagram, all the light rays in the same direction to smooth objects such as mirror. And you will find a regular reflection from rough object and other type of service such as rocks, for example, or paper. Uh, five, the briscope is one of the reflection application, while lens is one of the refraction application. Application of reflection use reflection of light. So the devices that contain mirror, for example, uh, this is what we call application of reflection. 
such as this device. While the devices that use refraction concept, they usually contain lens. Why? Because lens work according to the application of, uh, sorry, work according to the concept of light refraction. Uh, here, number six, light bends because it changes speed when it <coughs> moves through, uh, through different materials with different densities. And this is what we call refraction. What's refraction of light? Refraction of light, light bending because of changing the densities. When light travels between different mediums, such as from air to water, from water to air, different uh, mediums, with different densities, the light rays start to change its speed, then change its what? Its direction. Uh, this is about light refraction. Number six, or number seven, convex lens is thin at the edge and thick at the middle. Convex lens, one of the lenses types, uh, there are two main types of lens, convex and concave. The convex one, thin at the edge and thick at the middle, and concave one, uh, thin at the middle and thick at the edge. Also, convex lens has different name, or what we called converging, because it gathered the light into one point, while concave lens has different name, what we call diverging because it spread the lines into different points. Uh, eight, sclera is the tough outer protective coat of the eye. Sclera, I told you we divided the eye into three main parts, outer one, middle one, and inner one. The outer one, what we call the sclera, it's tough and outer protective layer of the eye. Uh, number nine, the contraction or relaxation to change the shape of the eye is known as accommodation. Uh, eye lens needs to control the amount of light by contraction and relaxation. When the eye starts to control the amount of lights that enter the eye through the two processes here, this is what we call accommodation. Uh, number ten, short-sightedness. What's short-sightedness? Short-sightedness or what we call near-sightedness is one of the eye defect. Uh, most of people <coughs> have what? Normal vision. Some of people with defects in their sightedness. There are two types of defect. The first one short or near-sightedness and the second one what we call long or far-sightedness. Short-sightedness occurs when image falls in front of the retina. For normal image or normal vision, the image should fall on the retina. When the image falls in front of the retina, this is what we call short-sightedness. How can we treat the short-sightedness? By wearing special type of lens. Uh, and the second one, what we called long, long sightedness, the long sightedness when the image fall behind the retina. And we have to wear convex lens to gather the light into the retina. Uh, this is about the two types of visual defects. Question two, draw. Uh, in light units, you will find different diagrams about the three light beams. The first one here, number one, is diverging light beam. Diverging light beam, when the light spread out. You will find diagram of converging light beam. Converging light beam, when the light gathered into point. Uh, you will find parallel light beam, three or four or whatever number of light rays without crossing. Number two, convex lens. You can see the convex lens thick at the middle and thin at the edge. This is what we call convex lens or what we call converging lens because it converged the light beam into one point. Number three, light ray, just one light ray. If you ask, if they ask you to draw light ray and you draw more than one or three, four light ray, this is not light ray. 
this is light beam so light ray just one light ray this is about common or most repeated diagrams in light unit question three pick out the word and mention the reason uh, number one candle sun stars candle is one of the luminous object sun one of the luminous object and stars one of the luminous object but what the difference the difference candle is one of the unnatural or man luminous object while sun and stars are natural so the odd word is candle because <coughs> because it's artificial or unnatural luminous object while others are natural luminous object uh, look at number two rough glass rough cloth dirty water and air we divided object according to transparency of light into three the first one is transparent object object that allowed all the light to pass through transparent such as clear water or glass number two translucent translucent they allow most of the light such as dirty water and the last one is opaque they block the light here rough glass rough clothes and dirty water consider as what as translucent why because they allow most of the light to penetrate through while air is very clear and trans transparent so the odd word will be the odd word is air because it's transparent while others are translucent. Uh, number three, microscope, telescope, eyeglasses or spectacles and mirror. Microscope is one of the most important applications that use lens. So it works according to refraction of light. Telescope work according to refraction. Well, light bends because of different densities. Eyeglasses or spectacles work according to the concept of refraction, while mirror reflect the light. So the odd word will be, the odd word is mirror because it work according to reflection, while others are work according to the concept of refraction, light refraction. This is about light. Then unit three, which is electricity. Question one, fill in the blanks. Number one, the proton carries positive charge. You have to know there are three types of particles, proton, proton carries positive charge and proton find inside the nucleus. Number two, what we called electron. Electron carries positive, negative, sorry, negative charge and electron usually orbits around or orbits around the nucleus or around the atom uh, the last part what we call neutrons neutrons inside the nucleus and neutrons are neutral this is about number one so the proton carries positive charge you have to differentiate between protons electrons and neutrons the charge of each and the position of each number two when discharging an accumulator, the chemical energy is converted to electrical energy. Accumulator is one of the secondary sources of electricity. Accumulator, or what we call car battery, work according to steps. The first one is charging, and the second one is discharging. Charging lead accumulator, when we connect the lead accumulator into power source. In this stage, the electrical energy will convert into chemical energy now discharging when we start to use the accumulator in this stage discharging and accumulator <coughs> convert the chemical energy into electrical energy number three plastic gain a negative charge when rubbed against wool uh, I told you we divided object according to their nature. There are objects that attract electrons. There are objects that gain electrons that give proton or neutral object. Here, plastic nature is to attract electron. That's why 
when we rub plastic with wool, the plastic will gain negative charge by attracting the electrons. Uh, number four, thunderbolt is the electrical discharge between the clouds and the earth. Thunderbolt is one of the electricity types from the nature. A normal case when the discharging between different clouds, but in <coughs> some cases discharging between clouds and the earth, this is what we call thunderbolt. So you have to differentiate between thunderbolt and other type of natural electricity. Number five, polarization is the accumulation of hydrogen gas on the copper road. Polarization is one of the disadvantage of simple cell. Simple cell, one of the chemical sources, chemical sources that generate electricity according to chemical reaction. A simple cell contain different disadvantages such as polarization, local action, and contain liquid. Polarization, the accumulation of hydrogen gas on copper road, because one of the cell part is copper road. The hydrogen start to accumulate around this, this road, forming insulator from the cell. How can we treat it? They can ask you, how can we treat polarization? Polarization treated by adding manganese oxide, not magnesium, it's manganese oxide. Number six. The volt is the unit for measurement of the potential difference. Uh, we divided the factors that affect the electric current into potential difference, current strength, and resistance. Potential difference is the force that pushes the electron between two points. If we want to measure this value, so the volt is the unit for measurement of potential difference, and the device is voltmeter. So you have to differentiate between volt and voltmeter. Uh, number seven, the bulb filament is made up of tungsten metal. Uh, number eight, electricity is generated mechanically by Faraday's law. And uh, number nine, local action is caused by the impurities in zinc road of the simple cell. One of the disadvantage of simple cell is polarization. One, local action. Two, local action because of the impurities in zinc, what we call using commercial zinc. How can we treat it? By adding mercury to the cell. Uh, number 10, if the current strength became high, the fuse melt to open the circuits. Fuse, it's very important part or component of electric circuits. It's used at the entrance of home. Uh, the function of fuse to protect the house from high current strength, high intensity of strength. When <coughs> the circuits meet high current strength, the fuse will melt to make gap and open the circuits. 11, in each TV station, there are transmitter for sound and other for light. TV composed of transmitter and receiver. There are two transmitters, not just one transmitter. Why? Because in TV, we can see the light, what we call image, and we can hear the sound. Uh, 12, if the speed of rocket is eight kilometer per second, it orbits in a circular orbit. If we want to send rocket in the outer space and this rocket carries satellite for different purpose or for different use, we have three types of speeds. The first one, when the speed is eight kilometer per second, and this is what we call fairest astronomical speed, and the satellite start to orbit in circular orbit. The second speed from 8 km per second to 11 km per second. And this is what we call second astronomical speed. And the satellites start to orbit in elliptical orbit. The last speed, more than 11, more than 11. And this is what we call releasing speed. Releasing speed for scientific purpose, research about solar activities or so on. 
Uh, this is about the speeds of the rockets for launching and, re and releasing the rockets to send the satellite to the outer space. Uh, 13, wireless connection include TV and radio. Wireless connection, one of the types of means of communication. We divided means of communication types into wireless and wired. Wired using wires and wireless using electromagnetic waves. And the devices that use electromagnetic waves are TV and radio. Uh, 14 wireless means of communication work through electromagnetic waves by sending electromagnetic electromagnetic waves converting the energy to hear the sound and or see the image uh, number 15 wireless communication and military spying are applied of satellite uses satellite uses divided into two scientific measurement and applied satellite scientific measurement if we use satellite to study about something but applied satellite if we want to apply the this approaches in the daily life such as what military spying or wireless communication uh, most repeated question two for electricity pick out the odd word and mention the reason number one fuse heater, bulb, and electric bell. Fuse, it's a device work according to thermal effect, heat effect, produce heat. Heater, thermal effect, bulb, electric bulb, thermal effect, while electric bell using magnetic effect. So the odd word here is electric bell because it work according to the magnetic effect, while others are work according to the thermal effect. Uh, copper, zinc, uh, copper road, zinc, carbon road, dilute sulfuric acid. The odd word here is carbon because it's dry cell component while others are uh, simple cell components. Tungsten, copper wire, aluminum, and hammer. The odd word is hammer. Why? <coughs> because hammer is one of the electric bell components or parts while others are... Uh, bulb parts glass paper carbon and wood the odd word is carbon because it's conductor of electricity while others are sorry while others are insulator of electricity i gave you a way to solve this type of question because it's very easy by thinking for each word what's glass paper carbon wood <coughs> and what the concept between them Question three, name the devices below. Devices, there are different devices in electricity unit, a meter, voltmeter, galvanometer. The first one is used to, measure, used to measure electrical current strength, voltmeter for potential difference, and galvanometer to detect weak electric current. Also, current strength, I told you before, current strength has device to measure the current strength and unit to measure the current strength. So you have to differentiate between a meter and ampere. Uh, calculate the intensity of a current passing through a wire of a resistance equal to 3 ohms and the potential difference between its two ends is 12 volts. Intensity of the current, the same as current strength. So current strength equal potential difference over R. R is the resistance equal 12 over 3 equal 4 ampere. Uh, they ask you sometimes to find resistance or to find potential difference. Just you have to change the mathematical formula. Mathematical formula of potential difference or mathematical formula of resistance. Uh, here are two types of labeling, most repeated. The first one is electric bell. This part, what we called electromagnet. And this is what we call gong, this is what we call hammer, and this is nail. The second one, what we call electric bulb. An electric bulb contains different parts. <coughs> you will find insulator, aluminum, copper, tungsten, and so on. So these are the most repeated 
labeling diagrams. Also, they ask you about electric circuits and electric circuits component, such as uh, this one is dry cell or power source or battery. This is resistance and resistance and this is electric wire. This is about electric circuit. Also, they can give you a two type of connection in parallel or series and you have to point it the part of the circuits. Uh, this is about electricity. So we have finished electricity. Electricity contain uh, different types of information. Electricity has 10 marks from the exam mark. Exam mark all the sci all science subject 30, 30 marks and electricity has 10. Then sugar, water, acid, bases, and salt. Sugar, water, acid, bases, and salt considered as very simple information. The first one, uh, sugar, alginate, and new alpha were the first sugar project of Sudan. If they ask you about uh, first sugar project, the, just one, you will write alginate, but the first sugar project, alginate, and new alpha. Fructose sugar is found in fruits. Fructose, they can ask you about glucose, different types of complex sugar. Um, you will find that lactose, lactose in milk, maltose, and so on. Three sugar belongs to carbohydrate family. The sugar industry in Sudan began in 1950. Potassium, aluminum sulfate is chemical, which sediment gel substance in water. This is about water unit. Uh, there are two important substances. The first one, potassium, aluminum sulfate or what we call alum or what we call chap. And also there is gas, this gas used to kill germs and sterilize water. Uh, carbonic acid simple is H2CO3. You have to memorize all the symbols of acids. Uh, hydrogen element, you will find hydrogen element in all acids composition. Uh, acid change the color of litmus paper from blue to red. Bases change the litmus paper from red to blue. Uh, complete. This is must repeated equation. The first one, water plus sodium gives sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. Water plus metal, water plus metal, cold, cold water plus metal gives sodium hydroxide. So, cold water with certain metals give hydroxide plus hydrogen. Number two, about forming salts. Sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide give sodium sulfate and water. Sulfuric acid, this is acid rule. Acid plus base <coughs> gives salt and water. Number three, water plus magnesium give magnesium oxide plus hydrogen. Why? This is hot water or water steam. Number one, cold water. When cold water reacts with metal giving hydroxide. Number three, when water steam or hot water reacting with Metal gives what? Oxide. Number four, magnesium oxide plus water give magnesium hydroxide. This is about uh, base formation. Number five, phosphorus pentoxide plus water give phosphoric acid. This is how do we prepare mineral acids. Mineral acid prepared by what? By acidic dissolving acidic oxide such as phosphor phosphorus pentoxide in water to give us acid. Uh, carbon and microorganisms fill in the blanks. Wood charcoal is characterized by absorbing smell, and animal charcoal characterized by uh, removing plant color, such as uh, sugar industry. We add animal charcoal to remove green color. Number two, alcohol is one of the liquid product of destruction distillation. You have to memorize all the products of destruction distillation solid products, gaseous products, and uh, liquid products. Number three, uh, methane gas is the first member of paraffins. Paraffin one of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are divided into two, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated such as paraffin and methane is the simple or first member of this group. And unsaturated such as uh, alkyne or alkene. Number four, alkene is unsaturated hydrocarbons. 
number five, carbon react with metal forming metal carbide. This is one of the carbon chemical properties, such as sodium. Sodium, one of the metal, sodium plus carbon gives sodium carbide. So carbon reacts with metal forming metal carbide. This is most repeated question. Six, calcium tetrachloride is used in industry or manufacture of cleaners. Carbon is an active element at normal temperature. So if we want to uh, form different substance using carbon, so we have to change the medium by heat or electricity. Number eight, graphite is a good conductor of electricity. And that's why graphite is used in making electric balls. Uh, Junior worm is completed in the presence of an intermediate cold water flea. Harmful diseases caused by microorganisms. One of them is disease caused by this worm. You have to memorize the intermediate host of the disease and the worm that caused the disease. Two concepts are different. The first one is the worm and then the intermediate host of this worm when worm complete its development to change into the infectious stage. You have to memorize the name of the worms and the intermediate host, uh, whether the disease caused by bacteria or virus or cercaria or so on. Number 10, the filarial worm lives under the scalp. What is scalp? Scalp is the skin of the head. Then it starts to move around eye parts causing infection. The infection lead to blindness. Under the scalp in the people of South Sudan and in other or different area, which is pelvic and the <coughs> people of North Sudan. 11, cercaria is the infectious stage of bilharzia. Without cercaria, there is no infection. There is no what? Bilharzia disease. 12, urinary and intestinal are bilharzia types in Sudan. Urinary tract bilharzia, when the worm leaves inside the bladder and intestinal when the worm leaves inside the intestine. 13, the worm responsible responsible for river blindness is filarial worm. Uh, that's all about science. Actually, we didn't answer all the question in science book, but we choose most repeated and common questions. You will find these questions in different form. Uh, fill in the blanks sometimes true or false, circle the correct answer, or uh, odd words. So, so you will find this question in different form with the same content. Uh, final word, I wish you good luck and thank you for everything. Thank you.